Today, we're going to be reading from my book called Planet Mars. But again, this is the printed book. And because Mars, information about Mars is updated so frequently, I've done an updated edition that's an e-book. It's called Planet Mars, the updated version, the updated edition. And it begins, Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. Mars is closer to Earth than any other planet except Venus. And here's a picture of the sun and Venus and um, Earth and then Mars. Mars is 140 million miles from the sun. Mars is a small planet. If Earth were hollow, seven planets as big as Mars could fit inside. Mars takes about 687 Earth days to travel around the sun. That means that one Martian year is almost twice as long as a year on Earth. Mars is an orange-red planet. The early Romans thought the color looked like blood. They named the planet Mars after their god of war. Now we know that the red color is because of rust in the soil of Mars. Long ago, people looked at Mars through telescopes and thought that its surface was covered by canals dug by Martians. And here's what they drew, a surface of Mars covered with, with canals. Now that we've visited Mars, we know that there are no canals and no Martians. We have not found any life at all on Mars. But Mars has polar caps made of ice. But the amount of water left on Mars is tiny compared to the water on Earth. There are no lakes or rivers on Mars. Although the water is in polar ice caps, like the one pictured here, or buried beneath the surface of the planet, the surface of Mars has craters, mountains, valleys, and plains. The red arrow points to the biggest valley on Mars. It is called Vales Marineris. It stretches nearly 2,500 miles. That's 10 times longer and four times deeper than our own Grand Canyon. Mars was once a very hot planet with volcanoes just like Earth has. The biggest volcanic peak on Mars is called Olympus Mons. Here's a picture of it. It's 15 miles high. That's three times higher than Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on Earth. On July 1997, the Pathfinder spaceship landed on Mars. It touched down on a field of rocks and boulders. The two hills in the distance are about a hundred feet high. Here's a picture that it took. This is the landing field of the spacecraft. Pathfinder carried a small robot vehicle named Sojourner. Here it is. 
Sojourner was about the size of a toy wagon and weighed 23 pounds. It took pictures and did experiments with Martian soil, moving at only two feet a minute. It traveled 328 feet in 83 days. Pathfinder and Sojourner took 16,000 photographs. They also measured the winds and weather on Mars. Because of these experiments, scientists think Mars once had lakes and streams. The rounded rocks and pebbles on this field may have been left behind by floods that once covered Mars. In January 2004, two rovers named Spirit and Opportunity landed on opposite sides of Mars. The Spirit rover traveled over two miles to study rocks in the Columbia Hills. You can see the tracks that Opportunity left on the red soil of Eagle Crater. Opportunity found that rocks in this crater were once covered by water. This is a greatly enlarged photo of very tiny objects found inside a meteorite that came from Mars. A meteorite is a rock from somewhere in space that lands on the surface of Earth. The largest object shown here is less than one hundredth the width of a human hair. Some scientists think these objects are fossils of bacteria that lived on Mars more than 3.6 billion years ago. Mars has two moons in the Martian sky. The moons are not round, but are shaped like potatoes. Phobos is 17 miles across at its, widest at its widest point. Deimos is only nine miles across at its widest point. Phobos races around Mars three times in a single day. In years past, Mars had more water and was much like Earth. What happened to the water on Mars? Was there ever life on Mars? Curiosity rover is exploring the walls of Gale Crater on its way to Mount Sharp to answer these questions. At one time, people were afraid that Mars was the, home, was the home of aliens. Today, it's exciting to think that Mars may once have been the home of life beyond Earth.